Now the job salary, job survey comparison report is a little different in that it's looking at survey data. The first one is looking at rate ranges. Uh, the difference are, is that a rate range is, is process data. To get it, we look at all the jobs for all the grades and we then establish a rate range that says, okay, this is where we think you should start with your lowest paid person and this is where you think we think you should end and these are what the divisions should be. So we build a rate range that compensation administrators can use for all of their employees. Uh, and this one, though, this is, this is a comparison to survey data, which is in the BLR compensation.blr database. So here again, so we say we're looking at headquarters, which is our demographic profile. We're looking at Connecticut offices. And so it brings up, and I'm going to maximize this grid to make it easier to look at, it brings up every employer in headquarters, and it's showing them and comparing them to their benchmark job title and with the appropriate demographic slice and with the this default report is bringing up this data the benchmark of 50 percent and the differences between 50 percent and in terms of dollars and in percentage wise uh, there's a whole lot more data available to them all of this data is here and they can add it if they want it the same way I showed you before, you just click on it. And it comes into the report. And if you don't if it's not where you want it, you can then move it as clicking and dragging as I showed you before, like this. Or going into the add remove data and move it around that way. You can also do the show filters just like we talked about before. I'm going to try this help once more to see if one of these is here. Doesn't appear, so it must not be active right, right now. It will be there, and it will take them to an explanation about this page. Again, you could save this change report. You can export it to Excel in the same way. Now, the final new report here is this market analysis report. And what it is is it allows you, again, using our demographic profile, to look at comparative data for a specific job. Now, we don't have the other data in our database, but the user, if the user has purchased survey data from any other uh, survey source or has conducted his or her own survey, they can then add that data into this report. And it will always appear, and it will appear against our data so that in this case we have sales manager and this is our data this is how it looks min min max and then from our survey data we we are showing sur sales manager at at these rates for base 25 50% and 75% is over here and we're show against these demographic slices we're showing these numbers and then the user can put in his or her own data. In this case, it would be, we're just saying another survey source or uh, some, a sample survey, et cetera. And um, that's this number, and then which shows them an average of all of that. So this becomes a market data report for, for the user that they can use. All the same functionality is in here that we talked about in terms of being able to filter the data or add or remove it. Um, so those are the reports.